Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Lintangan from Techno Buffalo, and Apple this week held a huge event where it announced the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus, the iPad Pro, and even a brand new Apple TV. There's a lot to mull over if you're an Apple fan, headlined by the inclusion of 3D Touch, which adds an entirely new element to iOS. We actually got to try out 3D Touch at Apple's event, and it works exactly as advertised. Will it be the iPhone's next killer feature? We're not sure, but we'll find out when we have the opportunity to spend more time with Apple's new devices. On the software side of things, Apple said iOS 9 and Watch OS 2 will arrive next week, but before that, the company released the Golden Master builds for iOS 9 and Watch OS 2, along with the first beta for iOS 9.1. Today we'll be checking out what's new in iOS 9, Watch OS 2, and iOS 9.1 Beta 1. Starting off with iOS 9 Golden Master, there's not a whole lot of changes here, mostly under the hood performance updates and bug fixes, but we did notice that the Hey Siri function now features a setup screen. It's essentially a way for Siri to train herself to answer to your voice properly. There are 5 steps in total that you need to go through which are pretty straightforward. And that's about it for the Golden Master of iOS 9. If you want to check out some of the other major changes in iOS 9, we made a few videos while the OS was still in beta and you can check those out over here iOS 9 is exciting because it introduces a lot of new features that'll make the user experience richer. And some of the big updates include an all-new proactive Siri that is contextually aware of what you're doing and what your schedule looks like, true multitasking features on the iPad, and the addition of an all-new news app. With the Apple Watch and Watch OS 2, there are two features that have been added in the Golden Master build. One, there are a few new color accents when customizing certain watch faces that will match new Apple Watch sport bands that Apple announced during the event. Lavender, Walnut, Vintage Rose, Stone, and Antique White. Lastly, there are quite a few new animated emojis in Watch OS 2 that you can send to your friends and family. If you're sick, for example, you can send this animated emoji, or if you feel like being cool, you can send this animated emoji with an aviator. Maybe you're sad that your crush doesn't like you back, you can send this black heart eyed emoji. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of changes from previous Watch OS 2 betas. We checked out Watch OS 2 a few weeks back, so if you want to check out some of the newer features that Apple included in version 2, check them out over here. Watch OS 2 is exciting because developers can now take advantage of the Apple Watch sensors and run native apps directly on the Apple Watch. Some of the big updates include a new nightstand mode, a very cool time travel feature, and brand new watch faces. Last but not least, Apple also released iOS 9.1 Beta 1, which we assume will launch alongside the iPad Pro in November. So far, there are not a whole lot of changes from iOS 9 Goldmaster, but probably the most exciting feature that's been added in this beta are the new emojis, and there's quite a few of them, including taco, burrito, a block of cheese, a unicorn, and even a middle finger emoji. Almost every category from food and drink to travel to animals have added new emojis. iOS 9.1 probably won't be out until later this year, but if you're an Apple developer or in Apple's public beta program, you can start downloading iOS 9.1 beta starting today, and iOS 9 Golden Master and Watch OS 2 will be out next week, September 16th. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.